So the last video showed you how to link two pages together and use this really crappy click on the title of the page to go back um, navigation mode, which is not really very useful. And people now suspect that there, there has to be a hamburger menu whenever they see this page here. So let's make this hamburger menu. So as part of our header, we're going to make our hamburger menu. And it, it's nothing more than just three little stripes that we are drawing here. So we can draw a little stripe here, go to design, change the color. Um, yeah, something like this. And maybe this is only five pixels high. And then uh, we can copy that and then make a new one uh, like this and then a new one like this. So this is my hamburger menu. It's just three little rectangles. I can group these together and then call them hamburger. But they don't immediately go to another page. Instead what they do is they show an overlay, right? They show a different uh, page here. So let's drag them down so they're aligned to my portfolio here to the middle, right? So what needs to happen is some element has to pop out. Now that element I still have to make, right? I, I don't have it yet. So what I'm going to do is make a new frame. And this frame is going to be my overlay frame. And it's not the full size of my iPhone. Um, it's basically a frame that's just wide enough to fit in the rest of the page. So if you look at it, it would fit something uh, like this, which means that it overlays on top of the page but it doesn't fully cover the page so that if we click outside of the frame, we can still go back to our page. Um, so I will give that frame a specific background color. So I can click the background color of our frame. Let's make this, this dark blue. And then in my frame, I'm going to add, um, let's rename that to overlay. I'm going to make a uh, link here and just making really big ones. So one is called home and maybe this is 36 pixels and the other one is like about or something. All right, so this is my overlay frame. And probably another thing that I want is I want a little cross here at the top so that I can close the frame. And these are just two lines that I can drag like this, change the stroke size here to two copy that line, paste it over, and then just rotate that. So I just copy and paste it and they stay in place. And now I group these two together and then call that close. Right, so how do I apply this thing here to these pages? Well, this is where I can choose a hamburger menu, go to prototype, and now I can change these interactions here. So in interaction, I can choose what happens when I uh, interact with this element. So when I tap this element, something has to happen. And here, the thing that has to happen is the overlay has to be open. So I choose open overlay. I choose what the overlay frame is. So system has no idea, Figma has no idea. But here, I can choose overlay. So this is the thing that gets overlaid on top of my page, right? And I can choose where it's overlaid. Does, does it appear in the center, like this? Does it appear to the side, like this, top left? Um, what I want is basically to appear at the top right of my page. I also wanted to close when clicking outside of that frame. That's why I didn't make it the full size. And maybe I want to make an Im animation here, like move in. Does this actually, right, something like this. So let's try that out. So it's going to load up my prototype here and then clicking this icon actually shows me this overlay really nicely. So it's it's overlaying on top of my page. I can click away here, but I can't click the cross yet or any of these links because these are not wired up yet. So I still have to do that. Firstly, I have to uh, basically make my frame, this overlay frame, the size of my iPhone, right? So for the design, I could probably choose iPhone X um, 10. Sorry, sorry, Apple. Um, and then make it a bit smaller so it doesn't fill up the entire screen, as I said before. And then I can choose the interaction for all of these elements. So here, when I click the cross, I can go to prototype on tap. So when I click this, I want to close the overlay, right? So this closes the overlay, clicking the home on tap navigates me to the home page 
and then about I don't have yet but I can imagine that this goes to my about page so for now we're going to uh, navigate to our project page not ideal but it's just to show you the entire interaction so now it starts to look like a spider web here so let's try it out you can go to Figma prototype mode or preview mode we can scroll we can click here and now if we want to go back we click the hamburger menu choose home that brings us back note that we get this weird transition here but that's okay uh, we can close this menu if you want that works as well and then our about page should bring us to our about page in this case it brings us to our project page but we know that so this is sort of the uh, the whole procedure or the whole thing that I want to show in Figma showing you components showing you how to work with overlays showing you the navigation modes a little bit about coding and you should be set to make your own things in Figma